Hey, today I wanted to show you about a really cool trick that you can use when you have a different X and Y scale for measuring. So this is a detail that I made with Bluebeam. You can see the vertical and horizontal scale aren't the same. I actually drew this in Bluebeam. So this is a quick detail that I needed to make. Let me show you how I did this real quick. Okay, so I basically just started off, took an image from my drawing and copied a screenshot in here. Now I'm gonna go in and lock it. And you can see there's some dimensions on here. And then I also know some vertical dimensions with the curve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and calibrate my X scale. I go to there. And I know that's 14 and a half. And then I'm also gonna calibrate the Y scale. I'm gonna hold shift here to go vertical. I'm gonna say this is six inches. I'm gonna type in the unit here with apostrophe and I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, let's see if it works. So to do that, I'm gonna hit M which is a kind of a shortcut to get to your measuring toolbar here. It's the same as this. And that looks pretty close. 0.47, I might have not measured perfectly right. And then let's try this one here. Hit M again, 14 and a half feet. Okay, and hopefully the rest of my detail is drawn to scale. I'm not 100% sure it is, nine feet, it looks pretty good. All right, so next, how did I add in that little pipe that was below my bus pad here? So I'm gonna go to my drawing toolbar I'm going to come in here and bring in an ellipse. If I hold shift, it will draw it in as the exact same Y and X scale, but you can see that's actually not what we want here. So next I'm going to use my measuring toolbar again. I'm going to hit M and I am going to start from here. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to try to get it pretty close, but it doesn't have to be perfectly close. The next trick is you can double click on this and type in four and hit your little foot bar and it will go to exactly four feet. Okay. So I want this to be four feet below and then I want this to be a six feet pipe. So I'm going to hold control here and drag this down. And then I'm going to type in six and there we go. You can see I'm actually pretty close. It's a tiny bit bigger. Okay. Now I'm going to do M and do this horizontal wise. I know it's not going to be quite as wide. I'm going to click it here and this is going to be six feet. So you can see it's not quite the same. If you didn't draw it, hold shift this time. I'm going to type six feet. I'm going to do my best to try to center this roughly the same. I think if I clicked on both, and I right click and go to align middle. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. All right, so now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna show that side to there, that side to there. And now you can see I have a six foot diameter pipe that's drawn four feet below and it's actually drawn to scale. So cool little trick that you can use when you're drawing plan profiles. All right, I hope that helps you in your markups and measuring and scale drawings. Have a great day.